This is Comedy Idol. We invited people from all walks of life, age and mental health to audition for the chance to come along and perform at the Bloomsbury Theatre with me. One of this motley crew will be the Comedy Idol. Yeah, definitely not her. Or him. The judges for the day were myself, BAFTA award-winning comedian Karen Taylor, and my producer and sort of sidekick on XFM, Ian Morris. Am I going to be the next comedy idol? Only you can tell. But I can tell you one thing for sure. My name's Jim Brandon. Oh, Dorothy, Dorothy. Where are that lovely Dorothy? The medicine man said, you've got to go to a strange place and meet strange people and do strange things with them. Of course, it could be Hollywood as well, but I didn't take a chance, so I came home. I am Countess Dracula. And I thought that Jimmy Carr can do with a little bit of blood-sucking uh, mystery here. I'm a very funny guy, and I'm going to win today because basically I'm funny, and also I'm the only one here with a firearm. What I'm doing today, I'm actually singing a song about why haddocks not mammals, and it will be entertaining for you. It'll be entertaining for me as well. So just give it a bloody shot. First up was Chris Beebe. Hi. Hello there. Yeah. Yeah, Kick straight yeah, in. Yeah. You've got three minutes starting now. Okay. <laughs> Mutated stickleback on the fishmonger's rack. We're going down to see the little fishes on the seabed where the titanic lies dead oh adam adam oh adam 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 he's not a mammal He's not a mammal. <laughs> a speech from the Haddock Committee. Coming in very soon. Thanks, Chris. Shit myself. Thanks, Chris. Were you saying Haddock? I was. I should have said the titles Why Haddock's Not Mammals. Uh... <laughs> That's the title, but I just kicked straight into it. I went well away. So. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I liked it. It was weird. Oh, and, and Spark Melligan-esque. Mm. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm brummy. I've got a really shit brummy voice and I come out really twangy words. <laughs> it's fine. Right. Don't apologise for being brummy. That seems that's an affliction that many no, people actually, have to I deal with. I should apologise for being brummy. We were looking sort of for stand-ups that we could help yeah. in some way. And yeah. I, I feel medication's probably <laughs> yes. the best answer, isn't it? <laughs> some sort of therapy. I, I think you're, uh, you're not for us, but you are great. Mm. Cheers. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank right. Cheers. Thanks a lot. God bless, Chris. I can't even understand the fucking word he said. Yeah, sure. Great. Haddock. <laughs> fucking Haddock. Sadly, it was a no for Chris, and he's Haddock, and he was just a taste of what was to come. Trevor McDonald sat there on a penny farthing wearing a busted T-shirt with his huge crab claws in his hands. I'm like, Trevor, what do you want? It's really not a good time. Oh, God, oh, God, oh. It's not right for what we're looking for today, but thank you very much for coming along. And a very nice piece, I think. But I thought you've got a very funny face. But for me, it's a no. Normally, by this time of day, I'm already down the pub. Not what we're looking for, I'd say. But thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. I really, really appreciate it. I'm Countess Dracula. Where are you from? You're from? Romania. Of course you are. How are we doing? Hello. Hello. You know when you go into your bank and there's a queue? I fucking hate that. It's always better if there's no witnesses. You know what I'll eat this week? And before I go, if I could ask everyone about Vaudine's participation, please put your two hands up in the air, everybody. Please put your two hands up in the air. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's a fucking robbery. Get your wallets and phones on the table. I'm on my two home. White hat, maybe holding a shish kebab like this. He's wild, he's wacky, and he's wonderful. Healthy beans from planet Venus, I can say, speak it to us. You don't mind that, just giving birth. Oh, oh this shit, is it? Oh, my God. Is he a boy? Is he a girl? Or is he just a little shit? <laughs> <laughs> I think we may have turned down the new little Britain. <laughs> Some of the time, I wasn't quite sure what I was laughing at. 
but I was laughing. Oh, God. Hi. Hello. They say um, preparation is everything. Um, so in the corridor, I um, put a few notes down about what we might discuss. <laughs> um, I thought we could start with a new pope, Tom Cruise and the devil. <laughs> the new pope. <laughs> <laughs> He's a barrel of laughs, isn't he? The old one, I always got the impression, the poor old old one was never much of a good man. <laughs> but towards the end, he did well. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise and the Devil. <laughs> now, the difficulty I've got with Tom Cruise is he is and always has been a poor actor. There's no way around it. <laughs> and he's good on the emotions. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he plays Tom Cruise, doesn't he? <laughs> And I, I'm not entirely sure that poor old Tom can um, play anything else. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I genuinely don't know whether you're mental or brilliant. There's nothing in between. <coughs> no idea. Any, any clues? I, I think you could argue both. I thought that was just so funny. Good. It was just lovely. It was really, really charming. I thought, yeah, definitely stick around if you yeah, can. If you can hang around it, that'd be great. Okay. That, was, that was really fun. Thank you so Thank much. You, so much. <laughs> you made Jimmy Carr cry laughing. How about yeah, that? I did a little cry. <laughs> I had to pull myself together. Lots more funny people to see. Hello. 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 Good. Go ahead. OK, well, uh, now, I don't think you're going to heckle me, but just in case you do, the answer's no. I don't do any party bookings to appear as a fat Patrick Keelty, so let's get that oh, yeah. right out of the way. Um, <laughs> two minutes... Yes, yeah, very funny, isn't it? Uh, now... You see before you a guy who's too old, too fat and too ugly to go out and pull. But it doesn't matter, <laughs> because luckily I've got complete loss of erectile function. So... <laughs> no, no. I was watching a programme called You Are What You, it can... you, Are what you Eat, incorporating all my least favourite things about humanity, fat, Ugly woman. <laughs> she actually ate approximately 150 rashes of bacon in a week. That's an, appro an approximation of how much bacon she'd eaten in a week. We couldn't give you an exact figure. Me, I had three rashes of bacon last week. Three. Not three or four. Three! I don't want to turn into one of those pleady pop idol mm. toss pieces, but um, <laughs> I, I, I actually... Um, I, I never really even expected to get in front of you guys. What do you think? I think you should hang around for half an hour because I think that you've got something, I think you've got something that we haven't seen before, which is a sort of very different style of stand-up. My name's Cherry, as you know. Um, I'm single. Uh, I did have a boyfriend, but I had to finish it because we were incompatible. Because the thing is, I'm a Leo and he's a cunt. <laughs> 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 I like that. I thought it was funny. Can you hang around for us? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, hang around. You can hang around. That'd be great. Thank All right, Thanks, thanks very much. Right, cheers. cheers. Born in Lambeth, so I'm a Cockney. Uh, black Cockney, they like to call us Blockneys. Same as white cockneys, but when we walk like that, we're only joking. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we figure that one silly walk per race is quite enough. Thank you. I think you've got a really strong idea of an act. Uh, yeah, if you, hang around. Hi. Hi. I think I can guess what you're thinking. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm very confused about the whole ID card thing. Um, part of me would quite like them to introduce ID cards so I would feel a kind of sense of belonging in this country. I've always kind of felt like I'm missing the action. I'm rather like the, the New York firefighter who took a day off on 9-11. I'm, I'm rather <laughs> like the... Uh, <laughs> I'm the, I'm the guy that took his family to Thailand for Christmas and said, go for a swim, I'm going for a walk in the mountains. <laughs> I'm the friend of Dr. David Kelly that said, can't speak now, Dave. Why don't you go for a walk in the woods and think about what you've done? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the friend of Roy Castle that said, it's fine to smoke, Roy, as long as you do it in secret. <laughs> Some of our contestants were eerily familiar. Hello. It's already good. I recognise you. I recognise you as You're well. You were in Pop Idol, weren't you? Uh, rings a bell, yeah. My name is Daniel Sun. And I'm here today to entertain you. All right, Jimmy, how are you doing? Good, yeah. Did, how did you get here? Did you go in the car? Uh, Jimmy car, to get it? <laughs> um, I went on the coach, I did. Um, that reminds me, 
there was a young lady from France who got on a coach in a trance. Everyone stuffed her, including the conductor, and the driver came twice in his pants. All right, Kate, is it Katie? Karen. Karen, oh, yeah. how are you? Right. Um, my auntie's a tailor. Um, she makes men's clothes. All right, Morris. I got some gloves from Morrison's last night. Um, 59p. Buy one, get one free. And um, the reason why I dressed up is uh, I'm doing a little bit of a theme. I'm doing visuals to a song. It's called My Aphrodisiac Is You. I don't smoke no grass or opium from old Hong Kong. Wah, wah, wah. That hubble bubble, it gives me toilet trouble all night long. Don't ask me why I'm doing this, cos, baby, I ain't got a... I just concede it. My aphrodisiac is you. That's it. <laughs> it was very strange it's and... Spontaneous, yeah. Yeah. I liked it when you name-checked us. Oh, I yeah. thought your piece of material on Karen Taylor's second name was particularly good. Uh, <laughs> My mum's a tailor, she makes clothes. <laughs> Ian Morris. It was very funny. Um, I mean, I don't think you're quite right for this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. much. <laughs> Meanwhile, downstairs... I've just come from my uh, mate's wedding where I was the best man. I got up at four o'clock in the morning and I've drove hours to get here and I'm really angry at myself for actually taking part because I didn't think I'd ever do things like this and I feel that I've sold my soul to the devil. This uh, song is called Gene Hackman, 1960 to 1980. <laughs> Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman is better than Pac-Man. Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman is Shaggy my gas man. Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman, he don't smoke the crack man. Gene Hackman, <coughs> just give it the sack, man. Thank you. <coughs> well, I liked it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I think you've got a big future in music. Um, I liked it. It sort of, it was a, uh, it was quite a random song about <laughs> an actor <laughs> who did his best work in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. I think, fuck it, can you hang around for a bit? Yeah, can you hang around? Of course you can hang around. Cool, thanks. Thanks, very much. bye. <laughs> <laughs> and still they kept on coming. Little did we know what we had in store. Hello, I'm Brian Murphy. And I'm going to win today because I'm a New Yorker. Because if I don't, I will kill everyone. Never in my life that I thought of becoming a, a comedian. But deep down, I do believe that I can be a good comedian. I dress up as a woman, but uh, I try to be try to make myself look as natural as, as possible. <laughs> It's already good. Good God. As natural as possible. Thanks. You. Thanks. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Hello. It's been a long time waiting, and Jimmy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you really break my heart because you're a man. Because that's all what women, uh, men used to do to women. <laughs> no, no matter what a uh, woman do to 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 to, to men. They never appreciate women, believe me. I experienced it throughout my life. Is it true, Karen? Yes, it's true. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, with, in, our, in, in our everyday life, we do the cooking, we do ironing, we do, we even showering our husband. But do they appreciate us? Uh, do they really appreciate us? Sometimes. <laughs> All what, what we get from them is just hurt. I want them more and more from time to time. Maybe <laughs> men so at times, when it comes to the right men, they make me feel like a real woman. They know how to treat women. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh.
Thank you all. I think you've really struck a chord with Karen. Um, <laughs> It's yeah, thank you. Close to genius. It's not what we're looking for, but it is genius. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's not going to get any better than that. Or is it? It's not really. Ladies and gentlemen, you vote for me. You voted for this. You get democracy with the debt relief. You get democracy with debt cancellation. You voted for this. You vote for me. You get democracy with debt cancellation. It is time to make poverty history. Democracy with the debt relief. <laughs> Drop the debt. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thank you very much indeed for coming in, Errol. That was great. It wasn't quite as stand up as we'd been kind of hoping for, but I liked it a lot. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, Errol. That was absolutely the maddest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on? Uh, oh come on. God. <laughs> yeah. Lovely Natasha chose to ramble Thank about you. rambling. Hi, my name's Natasha Chetwood. Um, I, I don't know why I come here. I just sent a joke by mistake and my mum said, you shouldn't come because you're not funny. But I thought, well, they invited me to come, so I'll come. I do a lot of rambling, countryside rambling. And countryside rambling is like, I've made very, made, met really strange people and weird things have happened. And there was a woman on the ramble and <laughs> she was a lot older than me. And we were tops just joking. I said, it's good to be a woman up to the age of 20. Then after that, change your sex to a man because it's not fun being a woman when you're over 30. And we were talking like someone died at 50. I said, well, if you die at 50, it's not too bad because living makes you old and wrinkly like me. And she said to me, you're no spring chicken. You're not 22. I said, well, neither are you. You and me both could do with a facelift. And the only time you'll be on your back is when you're dead. <laughs> and she said to me, you joking? Do I sound like I'm joking? And there was another bloke on the ramble who was quite... <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's good. There was another bloke on the ramble who was quite good-looking. In fact, he was Randy, and his name rhymes with Anky Panky. I don't know if you give you any more clues. And quite a good-looking bloke. A lot of women liked him, and I liked him, but I couldn't show my emotions, so I kicked him, and he thought I was a loony. And next time he came on the ramble, he, he said to me, look, I don't want you near me, because it was just him and another lady. But later on the ramble, a few six months later, he went out with this girl. Now, this girl was more fatter than me. She had frizzier hair than me, and he liked her. And I was really hurt. He bought her a drink in front of me, and he looked at me, and he smiled, and uh, tears were in my eye. And at the end, he asked her for a drink, and I came for the drink, and I said to her, you know what this bloke said to me? He said, I have a tasty pussy. And she started laughing, and, and she slapped him, and she said, you, you said that to her? I said, yes, he did. And this bloke did the website, and do you know what I did? I emailed everyone about the email he sent me. I put it on the forum, <laughs> and then that's it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Next. Hi, uh, my name's Barry. I'm uh, from Newcastle upon Tyne, and uh, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, people who go to Switzerland uh, to die. Um, I know <laughs> this is about euthanasia, and I'm fully aware that it's not a comedy gold mine on a Sunday afternoon, <laughs> right? But here is out on it. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a single mum, and the only reason I became a single mum is because I watched About a Boy, and I thought that looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was uh, having a bath the other day with my pet monkey, and uh, he turned around to me, splashing around, and went. Hoo -hoo -ha -ha! <laughs> and I said, uh, look, if it's too hot, you can get out. My name's Justin <laughs> Staley. I'm uh, from Southampton, where we have Europe's best car parking facilities. So do come down and park up <laughs> and, uh, uh, and enjoy um, those facilities. I've got myself into a bit of a cul-de-sac recently. I needed to hire a killer. And uh, I don't know if you've done that, but it's, it's extremely complicated. And the paperwork's sort of this thick. And uh, <laughs> I put my detail, I, I rushed the form a little bit, and I've put some of my key details in, in the wrong box and, and consequently uh, put a contract out on myself. Uh, I'm now uh, on, on, on the run, and it's costing me a fortune. Uh, it's, it's direct debit. <laughs> um, I'm now looking essentially at getting a second job uh, to pay for my own murder. The only saving grace, perhaps, is, is that, you know, we're all having a jolly time. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and they, 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 they can't take that away from me uh, when, when they shoot me. I think you're Get a up. very funny yeah, bloke. Great. Oh, thank you very much. Thank charming. You. I think you're just charming and funny, and that's yeah. probably enough, isn't it? That'll yeah. carry you through life. I guess life. so. And I guess so, yeah, like it has Jack worked, Black. yes. I've got a you do look wife. a bit like Jack Black, yeah. I always have sex dreams, Jack. Jack Black. <laughs> I also have uh, sex dreams about Jack Black, so unlucky. Excellent. Um, no, no, I don't mind. At my age, <laughs> I diversify, if needs be. Yeah. Hello. And last, but by no means least, Susie Bennett. Hello. Only, only Jimmy. Oh, I'm a cosy. Hello. Didn't know she was out. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nerve wracking, isn't it? Eh? I'm glad I didn't wear my baked bean suit. That would have been awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a toss up between that and the old uh, Chinese and the marigolds, but thank God. <laughs> well, I could show you my bum, but I got my body shaping pants on, so I'd rather not. <laughs> body shaping, it said. I didn't know it was Bella Enberg body shape. I wouldn't have bought them. <laughs> Did you enjoy Live 8, by the way? I, it was amazing. Shame you couldn't have brought your commotions with you. Could have got up and done a gig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Very go good. on, let me have that one for free, please. Thank <laughs> you. Smashing. See Cheers. You thank you. Right, well, we've seen everyone. Now for the bitching to start. And we've already, we've already weeded out a lot of people that made us laugh a lot, but were kind of on the margins of mental health. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Which I think was the fairest thing to do. Yeah. Cherry, I thought, was very funny. Yeah, she was. You, that's kind of inarguable, yeah. isn't it? She was very good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She, she just was. Kate Wilkins, you're very funny, yeah, but not today. Yeah, very funny girl. Okay? And I sort of like think the cunt. same about her yeah, I as well. Really. Okay. Cockney PE teacher. Ah, Cockney guy jokes. Thought he could. He had thought something a lot could be made of him. Yeah. Did I? I think you wanted to have the um, the sex with him. No, that was the fireman. Yeah, he was, um, he's not here. I don't time. want to have sex with a PE teacher. He we was, did laugh. He was rubbish. He was very funny. He was rubbish. The man singing about Haddock was funny in him. The man singing about Haddock. You didn't know what he was singing. About. I know it's still have funny. We yeah. got, have we got rid of the man singing about Haddock? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been a gross injustice. Damn, we're going we're gonna to have to be cruel. I don't know how Simon Cowell does it. Finally, we invite all our favourites back into the room to hear which ten of them will be going through to the final, playing London's Comedy Store, where the audience will pick a winner. Well, first things first. Uh, thank you all for coming. Every, everyone had something. Uh, we were thinking of you know difficult as opposed to you know the best way to do this. Uh, and we think it would be by some sort of ritualistic execution. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. But thank you so much for, for coming and waiting for the day. Um, uh, Natasha, uh, we'd like you to, to come to the comedy store. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Susie, yeah, we'd like you. Stephen, James Mullinger. <laughs> and um, Dame, yeah, that one. <laughs> Barry Dobbs. <laughs> comedy Idol's top ten are. Barry Dodds, Cherry Green, Colin Owens, Ed Axel, Tash Alexander, James Mullinger, Paul Bird, Susie Bennett, Jerry Kay, and Stephen Hill. A great opportunity now. I just feel really focused. I'm gonna go home and write some wicked stuff and be famous. Do you want my autograph? Yeah, I did it, and you know, and they liked it. I, well, they must have liked it, even though it's an, an elaborate hoax. <laughs> I was expecting Jeremy Beadle to come out and say, Only joke, you're crap, really. But here I am, can't believe it. I'm gonna phone everyone, and they won't believe me. That was just un unreal. And when he came, he sort of shook my hand and said, so He really liked the stuff that I did. I, I, we sat here for hours and we were thinking, oh, should we go? We were going to go home because we thought, oh, it's running really late. And boy, oh my God, I stay. And so to the comedy store. Oh. Dude, what are you filming? <laughs> Here, a little chat. Pre match. <laughs> Pre match. <laughs> uh... Preparation wise, in, in the week, I've done very little, as when, every time I thought about it, I kept feeling sick. Yeah, just really looking forward to it. Uh, need to get a toilet in a minute, uh, understandably. Won't talk you through that, obviously, but uh, something will ask comics to do, I think. So, just time to give our finalists a last-minute pep talk, the benefit of my wisdom and experience. It's a piece of <laughs> Right, the audience are in. Showtime. Thanks very much. 
Good evening and welcome to Jimmy Carr's Comedy Idol at the Comedy Store. Yes, we're here at, at what has become the National Theatre of Comedy in order to see ten young performers, you know, show their skills. They're all very funny. They're all here because I thought they were hilariously funny at the auditions. I thought they were great. Please make them welcome. I'm going to bring on the first act. Uh, you know, I hope you enjoy them. Hmm? <laughs> I'm genuinely quite excited. This should be really good fun. Uh, so the first act, please give it up for Jerry Kay. Kick it. <laughs> My name's Jerry Kay, as you will have heard. Um, I was born in London, born in London, but uh, not brought up in. I was actually brought up in the country. Um, I was adopted and separated from my two sisters. It's a little bit sad, very common in the ghetto, I'm afraid. Uh, I was a crack baby. Um, <laughs> whereas both of them were cesarean, but um, you know. <laughs> But would you believe I got sacked from my gang for being dyslexic? Would you believe that? I'm taking it to tribunal. I'm taking it to tribunal. After all, if you've got a dyslexic getaway driver, don't hold up HSBC Bank. <laughs> 20 minutes I sat outside British fucking home stores with the engine running. Jerry did fantastically well. Next up, Barry Dodds. I watched this documentary on ITV. <clears throat> Basically, this guy had motor neurons disease, no standard of life, right? Just thought, right, I want to end it all. Can't do it legally in this country. Got to go to Switzerland, right? But this camera crew followed them all the way. But it even showed him and his wife buying the tickets at the airport, right? So he's down the chair. She hands over the money at check-in, and it freeze-framed. And the title of the programme came up, and it was called A Man's Right to Die. Now, you see, right? Personally, I wouldn't have called it that myself. Uh, I would have called it a one single and a return, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cruel, I know, cruel. I've got, I've got this really cruel strictness. I don't know where I get... I don't mean any harm with it, right? But when, when me and my brother were younger, right, we always wanted a pet, right? Now, my brother's in the army now, but when, when we were a lot younger, we said, right, Mum, we really want a cat. And she said, all right, that's fair enough. We'll get you this cat, and it's going to, right, you're going to have to learn how to look after it. It's going to be a lesson in life and responsibility. So we thought, great. So we got it, and she got us these two books, How to Look After Your Cat. So we flicked through, and basically to us, it was an A to Z of torture, right? <laughs> so we found out, you know those little pads on the bottom of a cat's paws? We found out that those are essential to a cat's movement, right? They, when they put their paw down, they can judge if something's hot, cold, hard or soft. We also learned that if you remove their whiskers and their eyesight, they are basically <laughs> fucked, right? <laughs> so we went straight to the kitchen, right? Got two sticky plasters, right? And a sock, right? Plaster over each paw, sock over head, right? Now, try this when you get home, right? I know it's... I know it's but do try it, because I swear to God, your cat will do the funniest impression of Stevie Wonder that you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, right. Next up, we've got Ed Axel. Go crazy, go on. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. When they first asked me whether I'd like to do this gig, I declined. I said, I'm a coward. Um, I can't do it. I'm a coward. Um, here I am. Good evening. Um, <laughs> let's face it, we've got nothing else to do for the next three minutes. So, <laughs> so I, I, I kind of thought what we could do is the following subjects. Here we are. The Cold War. <laughs> Some reason I've crossed out Michael Jackson. Um, being single, um, climate change, and Sir Eric Clapton. <laughs> so, the Cold War. What? Wasn't it dull? Let, 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 let me face it. It was. It was dull as dishwater, wasn't it? Um, 
Anyway. <laughs> Being single. I, I am, of course, available. Should anybody out there, you know, want my number, I'm, you know, I'm currently looking for um, a partner, so to speak. Um, <laughs> Cl climate change. <laughs> what on earth has happened to the weather? <laughs> I, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I, I think it, I think we need and, and this is very, very neat, and you'll love this. I think we need a rock star to sort it out. Um, Sir Eric is our man. Uh, he, 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 can, he can do wonders, that man. Um, you know, let, let him, you know, let him sing. <laughs> just, just relax, do what he's doing, just take it really slowly. Oh, You'll be fabulous. Says you'd be fabulous. Sorry, is it a bit of an anticlimax? Yeah, I think Jimmy Carr wants me, you know. No, he's a really nice bloke. He bought me a packet of Lilettes before the show, so I think. <laughs> Medium to heavy flow, ladies. And I thought if it all goes wrong, I could do my party tricks the splits or the ping pong ball thing. So. Well, you might have detected a bit of an accent. Have you, have you guessed yet? I'm from Argentina. <laughs> no, I'm actually from uh, the very beautiful place of Devon. Oh. Yeah, all the cliches, cider drinking, yeah, I do that. Actually, uh, most people's first drinks is cider, isn't it, when you're a teenager? Merry Down, anyone? Yeah, it's quite good, because me and my friends used to smuggle it into pubs, and uh, I was a plus-size lady, so I had extra big tights with a back panel gusset, so I could stick another bottle of white lightning or Merry Down down there, so... I was quite popular amongst my friends at that time. I quite like a drink. Yeah, quite enjoyed that. You want to see them, don't you? You want to see the splits, don't you? Yeah. Thing is, though, I'm a bit nervous and a bit sweaty, so I'd probably leave a bit of a matte patch. <laughs> Sorry. You know when you're at school and you have to do, like, a butterfly and you've got the paint and you do one side and then you have to fold it over and it's... <laughs> yeah, so we won't be doing that, will we? We don't want any suction problems on the floor, so... Oh shit, that's silly guy. People talk about the Bible, people talk about the Quran. They spend money on spirituality, yoga, um, meditation, anything. If you need something in life, all you need is Gene Hackman, uh, the biography by Michael Munn. <laughs> all you need. Gene has made over 80 films in 40 years. He's a god. And he's as virile as a rabbit on ecstasy, Viagra, and cheap bunny porn. <laughs> Here's Gene Hackman. <laughs> this song is about Gene Hackman from 1960 to 1980. <laughs> Than Pac Man. It's better than Pac Man. I don't even know the lyrics. Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. I think maybe Batman next. Gene Hackman. It's shagging my gas man. How could I guess that? Gene Hackman. I'm doing the exact same thing, but in my head. Can you believe that? It's, uh... But it was, it was like an echo, actually, just now. Because it was, we're doing... We're definitely on the same wavelength. Really? Yeah. Well, they say opposites attract. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Is that noise finished? <laughs> I'm not Thank you all very much. Uh, it's very nice to be here, obviously. Um, tell you a bit about myself. Uh, my name's James, and uh, I spent seven years of my childhood being privately educated at a boarding school in Surrey. 
which I thought I should share with you because I didn't actually have time to write prick across my face. <laughs> You know, you know, despite what you may have heard, boarding schools, they're exactly the same as other schools, you know. We were all thrown in a bath of piss, weren't we? <laughs> you know? You'll all remember the sensation of waking up in the middle of the night to feeling Lynx Java being sprayed down your Jap's eye. <laughs> right? Yeah? <laughs> We've all been there. And everyone remembers being bundled, bundled into an older boy's room forced to touch his penis, and then beaten shitless for being a gayer. <laughs> We've all been there. Hello! Wow. All right, shut up, you haven't heard me yet. I tell you, kids, kids do my head in. They, le they learn a new word every week, yeah? And this week, this week, my, my son learned that famous expression, Mum, you're so gay. <laughs> OK, so he's following me around the house, yeah, I'm washing up. Mum, you're so gay! I'll be in my bedroom plucking out my pube. No, anyway, he said, Mum, you're so gay! I said, you wait till your other mum gets home! <laughs> I must tell you, my ex, my ex believed in me. My ex said to me, Tash, you are going to be on TV soon. And I was like, oh, my God. You really believe in me, don't you? What, performing comedy? And he said, no, Tash, I booked you in on Trisha because I'm sleeping with your sister and I thought you might need someone to talk to. <laughs> they had me the bastard. They are really nice. Anyway. <laughs> Did people heckle over there? Who heckled? I don't heckle the fucking axe, they're new. Where about are you from? You're from France? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be somewhere surrendering? <laughs> Yes, yes. Some very sensible clapping there by people going... <laughs> yes, they pushed in, yes, they pushed in. <laughs> pushed in. I didn't like to say anything, but I was livid. <laughs> it pushed in. Those people down the front that are so middle class, they're thinking to themselves, I shall write to the Radio Times about this. <laughs> they're the only people that listen. Please, ladies and gentlemen, go wild and crazy for Colin Owen. <laughs> No, no, don't stop, no. Hello! Hey, whoa, wow. Uh, so, uh, there seems to be a general consensus in the land that, uh, yes, yeah, so the modern family, this is all planned, you understand? All part of the acts, yeah, thank you very much. As it goes, you laugh and I, I fix it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I fix it. There's a general consensus in the land that men have very few uses. Uh, bar the fact they can fix stuff. They're handy to have around. They can do DIY. I have none of those skills or attributes. I really wonder where, where that leaves me. Um, I, I can't do DIY and I can't really call myself a man. I, you know, I'm not a man's man. I'm not a true man. I mean... OK, this, this lady here is looking at me saying, yes, you are. <laughs> you're, you're, you're every bit of man. have to tell me what stereo to buy. Uh, I thought she put up fucking wallpaper. I didn't realise she was a, an expert in electronical goods. Uh, excuse me, Barker. A uh, word in your ear. Um, yeah, I was thinking about getting Sky Plus, yes, and uh, um, I quite want the movies, but not too bothered about the sport. What, uh, what, what package would you recommend to me? Uh, Always cutting prices. You don't even know, do you? You don't know fuck all. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I am never buying anything from Curry's ever again. <laughs> and it's all your fucking fault, Barker. <laughs> and you're an angry young man. Yeah. Some people do get a little bit touchy about racism, admittedly. Um, I saw a quote from Nelson Mandela the other day. 
and uh, he said, every night I go to bed and I pray that when I, walk, when I wake up in the morning, everyone in the world will be colorblind. That's nice, isn't it? I know he had a bit of trouble with the law, but you know, don't go wishing a very serious condition on other people. I mean, it could have been worse. He could have said, every morning I, I hope I wake up and the whole world's got multiple sclerosis. <laughs> but, colorblind, no laughing matter. Uh, yeah, especially when you're playing Twister. Left foot red. No, red. No, oh, don't fucking play then. Don't even fucking play. <laughs> you're not gonna play. Don't fucking play. And uh, yeah, and they gave him a Nobel Peace Prize. Bitter old cunt, see you later. <laughs> The bitter old cunt, yeah. What's me next? <laughs> oh, I was reading something. I was reading something in the paper about the Elgin marbles, how they're in the British Museum. The Greeks won them back. Don't these people understand the rules of marbles? <laughs> When women tell jokes, I'm going to finish up now because I've nearly done my time. I really hate it when lady comics tell jokes about tampons because no one want to hear that. No one wants to hear that sort of stuff. But I have written a killer joke about tampons. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Yeah. You know those adverts where they have like sanitary products and the blue liquid being absorbed by them. What's that all about then? Because I don't know anyone who's had a blue period. Except for Picasso. <laughs> You've, been You've been a dream, an absolute dream. I'm Cherry Greenhead. <laughs> woo, yeah. Oh, yeah. A bit late on the woo there. A bit late on everyone else seems to be clapping and going woo. I'm just clapping. I might say woo. <laughs> Woo, and then everyone else stopped. <laughs> you sound like an owl. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Unless, of course, you can rotate your head through 360 degrees. <laughs> in which case, ho oh, oh. <laughs> If I could rotate my head through 360 degrees, I think I'd become gay just for the sake of it. <laughs> just so you could, whoa. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I wonder if you get a lot of gay owls for that reason. <laughs> yeah, it's fun just to be bummed once in a while. <laughs> just so as you can rotate your head. <laughs> and then say something wise. <laughs> I hope you've got a condom on. <laughs> You're bumming a very wise owl. <laughs> Right, we've got a vote. No, you're not. You're not allowed to vote if you came in. Why are you trying to like that? You thought we'd do that, I imagine? Well, ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Let's get all the contestants out here for the results. There's ten of them. They're very funny. Come on. OK. Oh, easy, easy. Um, They've all, they're all new to comedy. They're all new to comedy. They all did incredibly well. Uh, yeah. Give them all a round of applause, yeah. <laughs> but they've all been brilliant this evening. I shall tell you who the winner is. Colin Owens. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, thank you very much. God bless him, I'll win this evening. Follow us. Hello. Hello. Well, good, thank you, thank you. Thanks, mate, cheers. Overwhelmed, happy, um, just that really, I mean, I don't, I don't really, 
some things go go seem to go well. Most things don't. This went well, and I I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm ringing you because I'm being filmed as I, as I did win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there, there's a man now filming me telling you. So we have to perform a big. You have this to tell me how much you love me. And she's proud of me and she loves me so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the very funny Colin Owens. Hello. 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 I will tell you, um, because you all look very attractive, that my name is Colin Owens and I'm from Southampton, where we have Europe's best car parking facilities. <laughs> so, so please, car drivers among you, uh, come on down. I, I, I'd urge you to wait till the spring, because breaking news, we, we've just heard that um, we're going to have the south of England's biggest Tesco's. So, you know, wait till then, drive on down and make a day of it. <laughs> Please, yes, thank you. Um, there's a general uh, feeling, I think, in the land that uh, men have very few uses. Uh, they, they have no uses, in fact, but by one is they can fix stuff. They're handy to have around. They can do DIY. Uh, now, I have none of these skills or attributes and, and, and sort of wonder where, where that leaves me. Um, you know, I, I can't really call myself a man. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a man's man. I'm not, I'm not a true man. I mean, I can... OK, I, I can see this lady here thinking, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, you're every bit a man. And, uh, and the gentleman with the glasses is thinking the same thing. And I, <laughs> I appreciate that. But, but the truth is, I, I'm in a desperate situation. Uh, that, that means very often I, I, I will pop a pencil behind my ear and just swan around in calves in the morning, <laughs> where, where all the proper men are. You know, and just to get that nod of acceptance, that knowing glance. Oh, yeah, he's been measuring up all morning already. <laughs> he's been drawing lines in a very intricate, very accurate manner all day already. But the reality is I am to DIY what a crash helmet is to a skydiver. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> and there, there's a story I will tell you. Um, because you deserve it, and you're nice people, and it ruined my life. And uh, <laughs> it involved uh, a man who was doing some work in my, in my house, a proper man, and he made a natural assumption and asked me to go to B&Q for him. Uh, now, already the alarm bells were ringing, and he said, uh, Colin, I'm going to need a 100 mil butt hinge, Two dust bubbles, a knob screw truss head combo, and a cat nut. And the fear of God rushed through my body as I heard myself say, Sure, Bob, be back in five. Do you need anything else? <laughs> to which he replied, Yes. Oh, I'll need a uh, Dynagrip saw, and I've run out of self amalgamating tape. I never went back. <laughs> I presume my wife's still living there. <laughs> Probably with Bob. <laughs> but at least I've got my health. Okay. Well, I've not actually been for a checkup for a while. But... <laughs> Things tend to spiral out of control when your life takes a nosedive, as, as mine has. And uh, I'll tell you this, and it's pretty heavy duty stuff, but I uh, recently needed to hire a killer. <laughs> now, I don't know if any of you have ever had to do that, but the paperwork is this thick <laughs> and really very complicated. And uh, I rushed the form and uh, I put some of my key details in, in the wrong box. And um, I've subsequently put a contract out on myself. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm now on the run and it's costing me a fortune. <laughs> it's, it's direct debit. <laughs> I, I'm actually now looking for a second job just to essentially pay for my own murder. <laughs> so I, I'm on a real... You know, in a cul-de-sac on, on this one. Uh, now, possibly um, you'd be thinking, well, why don't you wait for the bounty hunter at home 
when he arrives, just explain the situation. But um, the problem is, the one thing I got right on the form was I ticked the box that said, shoot on sight, show no mercy. <laughs> so, um, I should sort of point out that I'm going to draw to a close now, and uh, I'll say that I'm very thankful to, to Jimmy Carr tonight, uh, because uh, if it wasn't for him, none of you would be here, and it would be fairly <laughs> miserable for me <laughs> up here uh, doing this to no-one. I mean, it's a great place, and it would still be a buzz, but uh, it's much better with, with all of you being here. And um, I'm going to say goodbye now and let the, the, let the, the old veteran take over again. Um, I hope you've enjoyed me. I, I feel that you have. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Patronising, but <laughs> you're know, quite, quite genuine, and uh, um, I hope you've found me quite attractive as well. I've, I've worked hard on that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to back off now and, and say thank you very much to all of you. I am Colin Owens. Thank you. 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 Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Colin Owens, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. Uh, keep watching for some jokes and, and moments from over the years. Don't forget to subscribe, um, otherwise I, uh, I don't get paid as much by, uh, by the good people at YouTube. <laughs>